going on guys so if you're new hit the subscribe button before we go any further I really really appreciate that so the 5 series is done when I say done it's done enough that I'm gonna do it looks absolutely mint but before I show you guys the car let's have a little talk about it so when I bought the car it looked like this absolute mess so there was a massive scratch on the side it was dinged all round uh, the wheels were mashed up so what have I done since I've had it I've got an MOT on it that took two MOTs go back and watch those videos if you haven't seen it took me two two attempts at an MOT I fixed the bits that needed to be done for the first MOT went back into the MOT station and they gave me a new list of things that needed to be done nice one mate so that's quite a fun video to watch um, we had the car sent away to have bits painted because we had scratches all over the bonnet all down the side and corners We had the wheels done. So I repainted the wheels. They're not the best, but actually for a DIY job I'm I'm happy with them. They look cool uh, Calipers painted those orange put on the wind deflectors tinted the rear lights we polished the whole car and it is done so the video today is all about finishing that off, but I'll show you the done car first. And then basically in this video, we just had a look at those headlights again. The car has not been making boost, so I've got a new boost pipe and that was completely snapped off. Uh, what else have we done? I fixed a scratch in that door because I didn't want to pay 200 pounds to have that painted. That's what the garage wanted. So I just fixed that myself with touch up paint. But yeah, so I'll show you around the done car finished and then it will roll into the rest of the video where we finished off these bits. Enjoy. on youtube welcome back to the channel if you're new do me a massive favor go hit that subscribe button and leave a like dash a comment i'll definitely get back to you so today 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 the bmw is back from paint so if you've been watching the series you know that the bonnet was completely mashed up the rear right side the rear front right and the rear left side were all scratched so there were two days for uh paint correction so it had to be resprayed so the car is dirty because I haven't washed it yet, but looking a hell of a lot better, um, especially this side. There was literally no paint left on that back corner and now it's there. And then on this side, it's all gone. I'll try and whack some footage in now of what it looked like before. I don't know if I've still got it. Hopefully I do. But today, before I give the car a jet wash and start polishing it and putting ceramic coat on it and basically making the paint look absolutely unbelievable, I've got to deal with these headlights, man. Like, 
I've never struggled with headlights before, never. Like normally, bit of wet and dry, literally a thousand grit one way, bam, bam, bam. 2,000 grit up and down, 3,000 grit the other way and a polishing machine. And the headlights are good, you know, but this car has defeated me. So, they look awful, especially over here. So as you can see, that is horrendous. So if we're gonna be painting the car and ceramic in the car and polishing the car and making the car unbelievable, then I've got to do something about those headlights. So this weekend, which will be this video, but for me, it will be this weekend. We're going to use this Auto Glim headlight restoration kit, not sponsored. Um, I saw it, it's 25 quid on eBay, and I thought maybe that's, that's going to do it. It's got the drill attachment, sanding discs. So we're going to bust that out. The first part of this video, get those headlights sorted. Then the second part of the video, which is going to be today, which is Friday, Friday afternoon. Bruce Pipe. So, if you follow me on Instagram, you will know that this car has been going into limp mode. Uh, and I'll put the Boost Pipe back on, fit it back up, and then you'll get on Boost and it will just pop off again and you'll go back into limp mode. So, the car has been a bit annoying because it's quite a quick car, it's quite a fun car. Obviously, it's a 530D. Don't know if it's been mapped or not, but it does go really, really well when the boost pipe's on. So we've got a new one, basically, on my one, which we'll see in a bit. That's cracked. So, new boost pipe, let's get that on. Then the third part, the end of this video, the, uh, the last bit, I'm going to take the car up to the unit, wash it properly, get it all washed down. Start polishing it up, because as much as they've painted it, when you look, you'll see that sanding marks. Is that going to... Right, so that's like sanding marks, so this all needs to be buffed up and proper cut to be nice. Um, and we've got a scratch here. I've got the touch-up paint. And we've got a little scratch here. So we've got a touch-up paint. So we've got a touch-up paint to do that scratch, polish the whole car. I've got some fresh pads. So we'll polish the whole car, touch up that paint, fix the boost pipe, do the headlights. And this car is done other than the CCC system that I still need to send away, but there's no point waiting. So in this video, we'll get all of that done, which completes the BMW on the channel. Um, I will do a dry video of this car where I'll take it out and take it for a bit of a blast down the country lanes. I always like doing that side of the video. And I am gonna take the car to Phoenix Automotive Technologies and have it mapped and hopefully he's got a dyno now so hopefully we can get the car on a dyno as well and see what power the car is running and then it's got to go we've got to sell the car that's what we do here we buy we sell so then this one's got to go and we've got to get a new one so if there's any cars that you guys or any ideas for projects or videos that you guys are interested in shout me because obviously as long as there's money to be made out of the car i'm i'm in i'm in i'm in look at me getting nervous talking about money so yeah if there's money to be made i'm gonna do it so as always guys let's talk more action let's do this Okay, so we are blasting through the headlights and the, I just want to show you guys the, not amazing, 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 but it's a lot, lot better than it was. And I think that most of the dirt now is on the inside of the lens, but I'm not going to be replacing the lens. The boost pipe snapped completely. So every time I got on the accelerator, that would open and pop off and we would lose boost now have the replacement it's literally a case of whacking that back on no more problems there we go guys end of day one 
Headlights are sorted as good as they're gonna get. The boost pipe is on. I gave the car a wipe down. It's looking pretty good. Obviously, we need to. This side's already been polished once, which obviously why this side with the wipe down looks good. But the other side, the bonnet, the bumpers, all needs a proper clean because it's come back from the body shop. And then we're gonna do the touch ups in that door. Scratch one, scratch two. So we're gonna wet sand, put a bit of touch up paint. Just a little bit of touch up paint in there and just go around and, and tidy up this corner is scuff so that's polish and the touch up so for you it will be two seconds but for me it'll be sunday when we start getting this finished because i want this to be the last video working on this car and then we can buy another car to work on as a project if you guys have got any ideas pop them in the comments um hopefully gonna take this out for a little blast now the boost pipe is done on saturday so i'm sure there'll be some video or footage of that in upcoming video how it performs but we'll see so i'll see you sunday in a second too so yesterday we got the headlights and the boost pipe on boost pipe makes this car so much fun tonight i'm going to be taking the car for a little drive with my friend george who's got a 330 petrol 2005 as well so we'll have a little play and see how they compare but today i want to get this scratch done that's down the side I'll show you that literally goes the whole way along so i think i'm going to start by trying to buff out as much of the scratch as possible where it's deeper it will need paint i've got the paint from when i had bumpers painted from the body shop so i think i'll get a paintbrush put that in the scratch let that dry then wet sand it back and then lacquer and then wet sand it back and just, and just try and tidy it up, you know. It's not meant to be perfect. It is a 2005 car, but I want it as nice, nice, nice as I could get it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna finish the body work today and then the car is ready. So this is gonna be the last video. I need to plug in the CCC system, um, but I need to send that off as well because I've done that. So yeah, we're wrapping up this car so we can get a new car and a new project and just move forward with content. I buffed as much as I can kind of buff uh, and I think the next step I'm going to get a paintbrush and just fill the scratch with the paint then let that dry and then come back and wet sand it and hopefully it'll be all flat, look nice, decent. We'll see. Have a little look. So I think you're definitely with a bit of touch of paint that'll be hidden enough. So let's crack on. So I've let the paint dry for a couple of hours whilst and, uh, just tidying the car up a little bit, putting a few little touch-ups in some other places. Um, so, obviously from a distance it looks a hell of a lot better now, but we can still see that we've got these lines. So I'm going to put a bit more paint in. And then I'm going to come back and wet sand the scratch and then polish it so so i have no idea how this is going to turn out so i put enough paint that 
it fills the scratch. Now I'm about to wet sand the paint back out of it and see if it hides it. The problem that we have is obviously the car is so shiny and nice and we have this horrible paint so we'll see. Like with two and a half thousand grit, it doesn't seem to be working enough. It doesn't seem to be taking enough of the paint off. We're going to come with one thousand five hundred grit. As you can clearly see, I am not a professional. Everything that I do is me trying to learn how to do this stuff. Obviously, there's gonna be you guys out there that have done this before that know what you're doing. Pop me some advice in the comments. But it's not 100% perfect, but it's flat. So when I buff this now, I'm hoping it's gonna look good. So, Get the buffer out. bad it's not good it's good it's not great i think for this car at this age it's good uh, i've obviously got a lot to practice still and a lot to learn but so you can still see there's a clear scratch there but they're a hell of a lot smaller and from a distance you can just about see them so what I think I'm going to do is get a lacquer pen and put lacquer in there and see if that fills up a little bit more of the line. There's obviously paint there now, so I get some lacquer, try and lacquer pen and then wet sand up. All we can do is try. So let's try that. Let's lacquer pen and go from there. 